Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and uh, <laughs> this is a video that I didn't intend to make, but uh, you know how in the last one of these I said that I was caught up? Well, that thing that I said might happen happened, and some of the girls decided to release songs uh, in the last couple days before Fifth Fest. So it is now Thursday night before Fest, and this is really my last opportunity to record, which is kind of bad, because let me show you this. Um... Uh, this is Holodex, which tracks all the Hololife songs that come out, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. And, uh, yeah, we got a Koyori song dropping in uh, eight hours, and I'm going to be sleeping at this time, for sure. And I don't know if I'll have a chance to record that song. So, I may have to just hope that Koyori does not perform this song. She does have another single, her Unbalanced one. Uh, I mean, she's not going to do <laughs> the Noodle one, but... Uh, she has Unbalanced. There's a good chance she'll do that. But uh, this song premiering the day of Fez, or I guess in Japan, probably the day before, um, it's probably going to be this. And it sucks because she's the first stage. I wish she was like, if she was any other stage, then I'd be able to do it between the first stage and, um, is it second stage? I, I forget which two are Friday night. Um. It may be the Honeyworks show, which, uh, I mean, whatever. But the uh, point is, because she's stage one, I don't know. There's probably not going to be a chance tomorrow where I'll be able to record this song. I may miss out on this song if this is the song that she performs, uh, which, I mean, probably is going to be with it premiering <laughs> right now, uh, the, 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 right before the fest. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I'm recovering from a sickness uh, if you're wondering about the coughing in this and other. Although these videos are probably going to be a little bit spaced out, so you may not even remember that I coughed in the previous one. But um, yeah, point is, I may miss out on reacting to this Koyori song. I apologize if that is the case. But there are some other songs that came out uh, within the past couple days uh, that <coughs> I will be able to react to. Um, and. Um, yeah, I'm going to do so. And I also, uh, well, the truth is, and this is another weird thing that just sort of snuck up, on, snuck up on me. You see this Kanata song, which is one of the three songs I have to react to? Yeah, apparently that's part of an album. Kanata put on an album. I was not aware of this. And I'm not aware of this because, specifically, you go over here to the Hall Live original, uh, or the Hall Live, <coughs> um, this is the official Hall Live website, and this is their music, and it lists all the songs, apparently. But you know what it doesn't listen? What it doesn't list? It doesn't list Kanata's album. The most recent one is Bay's Zodiac. There's no Kanata album anywhere here, and I don't know why. Uh, like, all the other albums I reacted to recently are right here, but the Kanata one is not listed, so I did not know about it. So, um, <coughs> luckily it's a lot of, <coughs> oh, sorry, it has not been this bad for a while. I don't know what's happening, but, um, uh, cause I feel fine at this point, but, um, yeah, luckily a lot of these songs, I mean, I've already listened to in previous, uh, recent, uh, in this whole binge that lead up, I've already listened to, uh, quite a few of these, like, uh, Knock It Out. Startup and uh, uh, this one, Junu, uh, Junsui Shin, Junsui Shin, I don't know, uh, that one, <laughs> I've already, which I guess maybe I should have figured with her having three songs that I had reacted that maybe she had an album, but uh, I, I somehow it didn't occur to me until the fourth one came out that maybe there's something here, but um. Yeah, luckily, uh, with those three, and we also have her previous songs on here, it looks like there's only five songs. Because it's like a, a full, uh... Yeah, full 12-song album. But luckily, I've heard the bulk of it. There are only five songs. But that makes this kind of an awkward little video, because usually I do the album separately. But I'm doing this as a binge video, because, I mean, I don't have any other opportunity to record this. I mean, most likely... Kanata's gonna perform one of those songs that I've already heard. And she's also for a stage. And so is Choco, who is the other person who decided to put out a song last minute as well. 
she is also first stage, so no one is like <laughs> where I could record it Saturday, theoretically, uh, which would have been great. Uh, they're all first stage, and no one... Uh, I mean, maybe the second stage people are going to put theirs out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or even on Saturday, and uh, just make it really last minute. But yeah, point is, this video is going to be lopsided. It's going to be more like an album video, but with two other random songs thrown in, which is kind of weird and not how I like to do it. But this is my last opportunity to record these songs, and I just want to make sure I've for sure heard the song that Kanata is going to perform. I mean, unless she does a cover or... Uh, I mean, it's not going to be a new original if we're having just put on an album. It's definitely... She wants to promote her album, so she's going to do one of these songs. I'm convinced. And... Uh, it could be Knock It Out or Start Up or this other one, but most likely it's going to be this one, Hinchin Gamba, which is the one that she released just before the show. I mean, that just makes sense. So this is, I got to make sure I hear this one, which has the video, the last or the most recent single, the one put out just before Fez. Uh, well, I want to hear the rest of the album as well. So we're going to get into that and uh, see what Kanata has for us. But uh, the first song we're starting with, to finally get into reacting, uh, we don't need that as my editing software, because uh, I was editing earlier, because I didn't expect to record at all today, but I just really, I just checked Holodex and all this stuff is, uh, is out. <laughs> uh, what am I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just not set up to do this right now, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway, because I want... Too. And this song is probably going to be used like in the promotion, like in the before the show. I'm sure they'll be playing this maybe because this is a new version of uh, the thing that Watermate's done, I think, twice before. Um, and I'm a bit worried about putting this in the video because, uh, I mean, the, the, the version before this, the second version, uh, I think that came out with Second Fest. And it's one of the only Hololive videos known, only Hololive original songs known to uh, get to draw a block if you put it in a video. Uh, if you try to react to the earlier version of this, it blocks your video, uh, from what I understand. <coughs> and I think that's because it did premiere at Second Fest, and it was thus paid content to the first time, uh, it, <coughs> the first time it showed. So um, I think that's why it has the block set up. But uh, this one did not debut at Fest. Um, it uh, debuted a couple days before. So I don't think it'll have the same problem, though again, it is probably gonna be the same melody. So I don't know if YouTube will be able to properly differentiate them. I hope so. I guess we'll find out when I upload this, uh, which I mean, <laughs> uh, Worst case scenario, I'll just probably have to cut it out of the video and just make this a weird <laughs> thing where it's just Choco's one song and then a bunch of Kanata, <laughs> which would make it even more awkward. Because this way, at least there's two extra things. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. This is uh, Watame's, uh, I think it translates to Can You Do the Hall Live or something? Or uh, I mean, this is, really, it's Hall Live... Uh, this is, this is the verb for say. Um, it's how I've ie, ieru kana, right? And that's how you would pronounce that? Um, I forget what the kana ending means. It's like a, it's like a question, but like a softer, I, 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 the Japanese grammar is very hard <laughs> from what I've tried to understand of it. Anyway, I'm talking way too much, which is unlike me. So let's just go ahead and finally start this. Here we go. Let's pull it back. I wasn't paying attention to watch me. I actually think the volume is too low. Oh, it's because I, I... It was too high the other time, last time when I was on Holodex. And now it's, uh... It's normal. Like, last recording session, for whatever reason, the volume just went crazy. And it was weird because when I was editing those those videos, um... The volume for the songs was actually kind of low. So, I think what I was hearing and what, what the OBS was picking up was, for whatever reason, different. 
Like, I don't even know how it got like that, but it's very weird. Anyway, that's uh, completely irrelevant. Let's just finally start this for real. <laughs> Sora! <laughs> okay, I see we're just, we're not really giving them this much time this time. We have a lot more to go through, so we're, they're just basically saying their name. Let's pull it back again. <laughs> yeah, can you do the holly? At least it starts the same as Sora. So you get through... Someone missing there. I don't like it. Cute. It's actually a bit different. Like the progression is a little different from the previous version. I do kind of wish they got to say more for their individual parts, but I get that the song will probably be like six minutes. Cute. <laughs> ID next. All right, some uh, <laughs> Indonesian in there. Ian now. That's some we'll end with re -glass. Or maybe Regloss isn't even in here. Is it just the ones that are going to be at the show? Lots of Amelia. I guess she couldn't just say Iris. <laughs> okay, we gotta have it, at least. <laughs> and they have to do their full thing! Wow, okay. Oh. So it wasn't last but not least. <laughs> I feel like Hall Live is rather proud of the twins there. They gave them <laughs> time to do their full full greeting. <laughs> and no one <laughs> very few others. Got that. <laughs> this one definitely has more like harmonies to it. All the different generations. I do like how it was generation days. That I like to hear. Nowhere close to being done. Yeah, that was cute. I think I still kind of prefer the second version though. I, I like that each one gets a more personalized little bit in there. Um, and I think it just flowed better. <coughs> Sorry. With them just saying the names, like, it's hard to really work to make it, like, uh, like, you know, just <laughs> really catchy and good to the ear. But, um, I mean, <coughs> it was still a good song. I don't know. Why am I, I haven't been coughing this much, like, at all lately. But right when I record, just, it hits me. Uh, anyway, 
we got this Choco song that came out last minute. And I gotta wonder if Choco was building up to an album as well. Like, this is her third original in uh, just a few months now. So she must be... I, I have to imagine she is working towards something. Uh, I mean, one of those originals was a Christmas song, which maybe... I don't know if that would be part of an album. But, um... Yeah, she's definitely picking it up with the song releases. So, I gotta wonder, <coughs> wonder if... Uh, She's got something in the works. Anyway, this is Euphoria. Let's go ahead and hear it. This has a different feel than I would expect from Choco. Very I mean, I kind of expect for my Choco to be a bit more devilish. I kind of like her in, like, just simple shirts and stuff. I mean, that's nice, too. Like, even when she's wearing, like, a very pure white dress, it's also gotta be... <laughs> it's gotta be a bit revealing as well. find out when I'm editing. Yeah, this is nice and pleasant. I think I prefer her other... Um, I think I actually... My favorite is the Christmas song of the recent ones. But, um... Future, I will be there with you smiling. I mean, this almost feels like a graduation song, which I really don't don't like that thought. good uh, very pleasant very nice and something different for Choco she doesn't really have a song like that something that's just very pure and beautiful uh, I do kind of miss the <coughs> the edge the demonic Choco but <coughs> um, I understand I mean she wants to try different sounds and uh, something uh, very pure and sweet like that <coughs> is I guess good to have in the repertoire, and, and with it being really so close to Fest, that's probably the, trunk, the song that she is going to do. And I think it'll be nice. I think that, uh, yeah, she'll be able to sing that well on the stage, and have a nice moment, and uh, yeah, anyway, we got a Kanata album to start now. Uh, <laughs> so we'll hear the first song here, <coughs> Oracle. Charge um, is more than just billing. We are a full revenue growth management platform, helping you personalize. 
Hard to tell with the volume. I think that's probably good though. Maybe a little bit louder. Huh? Interesting melody. Yeah, I like this. This has a nice groove to it. I might actually like this more than the ones that I've gotten videos recently. I like how she sounds on this. I mean, it's a cuter voice. But not like overly cutesy, it's like... Oh, wow, some impressive high notes in there. Oh wow, the speed! Is Kanata secretly a Vocaloid? <laughs> that, I don't, I don't know how you do that. Oh wow. Yeah, weirdly, this lead song that didn't even get a video, it might be my favorite kind of a song I've heard. <laughs> like of all her solo songs. Um, I can't think of one that I like more. <laughs> the next song is Happy People, after this distortion. Because um, we heard Knock It Out. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I like the sound for this already. The melody's great. Is this just gonna be one of those weird cases where I like the the album tracks more than the singles? This is again delightful and really cool. I mean, there are other recent singles have been good, but uh, nothing has been like just amazing to me. I 
Like, the one that I remember the best, I remember mostly for the music video. Which is this, uh, Jun Sui shit. What does this remind me of? Like, some of the sounds are... Hitting a spot with me that seems very familiar. Maybe I just like Kanata on these dancier songs. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was great. I think I still prefer Oracle slightly, but it's close. I mean, it's still... <laughs> probably my second favorite Kanata song. Uh, now we got a good, the next one we got to listen to is this one that got the video. I guess the latest signal from this album, Henshin Ganbo. Let's go ahead and hear it. Okay, a bit more mid tempo compared to the last couple. I like her voice though. It's just a very tender quality to her voice in this song. It's appealing. Yeah, I like how low-key this is. It's got a good vibe to it. I mean, I still prefer Oracle and Happy People, but I think of the of the singles, this might be my favorite. So if she does this at Fez, I would not complain. expecting a guitar solo one, but I, I like it because if I want to complain for this song, I, I feel like it needs a bit more variance. So, a nice guitar bridge helps. So. 
With the video, I imagine if I could understand the lyrics, they would be pretty emotional. I mean, I see the kanji for crying there, I think. Yeah, which, I mean, fits with the visual. So, yeah, definitely probably some heavy lyrics to that that I wish I could understand. But, uh, my Japanese is still pretty limited. <laughs> Okay, now we can see up a bunch of songs because they're all songs uh, that I've reacted to recently <laughs> or uh, all these ones that, that have an unknown diva version are songs she put out a while ago. Um, so next one we haven't heard is End, End Day of Salvation. I don't know why we've decided to <laughs> make End so extra there, but uh, uh, End Day. <laughs> Let's hear it. After this ad. You know, I actually had a video that I uploaded that uh, is still private get blocked for an ad, which I thought was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I obviously I just have to mute the ad, but still. Never had that happen before, but it's for 10 seconds still. Okay. About to say another mid-tempo one, but it actually picked up a bit. It's still kind of mid-tempo. Oh. Maybe not anymore. Yeah, this one definitely has a definite build-up to it. I wonder if it's going to continue. Piano breakdown. This song's good too. I think it's probably the least of the four that we've heard from Kanja so far today. But I mean, there's not really much wrong with it. It's just not as interesting. Though it does have its moments, like when it picks up like that. I don't know. There is some cool stuff musically going on here. I, I appreciate this song. 
I do still rather like it, but I think I like the other three a bit better. Next we got Fallen Wing. I'll let it go to it automatically. Oh. This can be a straight up ballad, or are we gonna have a drop? Okay. Oh, yeah, definite. Okay. I like that synth in the back. This actually feels like the edgy song of the album. Oh, hell yeah! I love this one too. Like, this is up there with the first two. Even though it's completely different. I mean, those two were kind of similar. They were both kind of dance pops. It's really buoyed by that kind of mysterious scent there going throughout the whole thing. I love her vocals on this. I mean, I've always loved her, her rock voice. Like when she sings with Toa. I mean, I think my favorite song that that kind of does on is still Madaromi with Pella. So yeah, my three favorite kind of songs are all album tracks that didn't get videos. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. <laughs> and truth be told, this might actually be the best. Like, it's not as fun. But the vocals are so good. And it sounds great, too. my favorite. And there we have it. Those are all the songs I haven't heard. Everything else is something I either reacted to recently or ages ago. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some slight difference in the audio to the Unknown Diva versions of these songs that were previously released, but uh, I'm not here to listen to alternate versions of songs that uh, I've already heard and already know. Uh, because that's not going to be as interesting. Because <laughs> I'm sure there's still like, at least like, 80, 85% the same, if not more. Um, but uh, yeah, there we have it. <laughs> that's uh, the songs I hadn't heard from Unknown Diva, Kanata's 
album. And I'm glad that I, le- I learned about it. Because even though chances are Kanata is going to sing one of the songs that got a video. So I theoretically only needed to hear Henshin Ganbo. Um, I'm glad I, I heard these other four songs as well. Because, I mean, like, they're really good. <laughs> like, this is a really good album. <laughs> And the album tracks in particular are like some of my favorite songs I've ever heard from Kanata. And, uh, like, yeah, I'd almost rather she did Fallen Wing or Oracle than any of the songs. I mean, I, I definitely would rather, not almost. <laughs> like, I just, uh, but I, I imagine it's probably going to be Henshin Ganbo at the show. Um, although I could see her going for Knock It Out. That's like for one of the big producers. I mean, I'm sure the other ones have big producers too. I don't know who's what that had like ones that have worked with Cali and it's like more of a modern pop song. So she might want to do that, go for that vibe at uh, at Fez um, just to make it something stand out. Um, but uh, with Henshin Ganbo coming out just like a day before that probably is the song on her mind i would think but you never know you never know fess is kind of unpredictable like someone in the comments actually asked me what do i expect for fez what are my predictions and i just said i just expect there to be a lot of great music because that's really all you can say um because even if it seems like it's a pretty sure shot that a particular song is going to get chosen, they can always pull something new out or do a cover. So you never, never know. And um, yeah, I'm very excited for the show tomorrow. Um, it's a bit unfortunate because uh, I actually fixed my sleep schedule. Like since moving to the new house, like... I fixed a lot of things, actually. <laughs> like, I think I'm actually over my burnout finally, which is a, a, the biggest thing, which you might have noticed that I'm actually posting. And uh, this, it doesn't feel like a drag anymore to record or do any of this stuff. Like, I'm having fun with it for the first time in a long time. Um, but I fixed that. I fixed my sleep schedule. So I don't know what I'm going to be like at four in the morning when, like, the second performance starts. Because I got to see it live. I paid $170 to watch this damn thing but I'm not on my stupid sleep schedule from before where I stayed up until like just six in the morning naturally um so I mean I'll be fine for the 11 o'clock show tomorrow but the one that starts at four something uh I'm gonna be a zombie and then I gotta do it two nights in a row so I just I don't even know Uh, yeah, Fez is weird. It just, the fact that it was $170 a year, I don't know why we needed three normal stages. I mean, I get the Honeywork stage. Uh, but I think I said this in another video. There's only one additional performer from last year. And we kept it to the two still last year. So, um, doesn't seem entirely necessary. I mean, if we had <laughs> Advent and Regalas worked in there, I would understand. Like, yeah, then three stages, definitely necessary. But, uh, yeah, with just one new talent, because Hachima's not performing and Mel is gone forever. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. I think I, I'm just kind of wired up about the show and whatnot, <laughs> which is kind of bad because, I mean, the more I talk, this cough keeps coming back, which I thought I was done with that. I'm, I'm, I swear I'm not sick. I'm over my sickness. I have been for at least a week, but this cough is just lingering. Um, and I'm sorry for coughing during the video, but uh, I wanted to get this recorded. Anyway, I'm just uh, dragging it on now. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Let me know if you did and see you in the next one.